what's happened and how did it unfold? Well, we heard earlier today from the National Cyber Security Coordinator who posted a statement to LinkedIn and the social media site X. Um, now, she said that the organisation has been, sorry, that they've been advised by a commercial health information organisation that there had been a large scale ransomware data breach, but at the time they didn't name what that organisation was. Um, but they did reveal that they were working with agencies across the government states and territories on a whole of government response, um, and also that the AFP were investigating. Um, the Minister for Cybersecurity, Claire O'Neill, also issued a statement saying that she had been briefed and that a national coordination mechanism has been triggered. Okay. So you were able to secure the name of the organisation that is involved in this data breach. Who are they and what do you know about them? So the organisation is called MediSecure and it was one of two providers that had tenders from the Department of Health and Aged Care to provide ele electronic scripts to patients. So this is when you go to a doctor and you're given an e-script. So often it's a token and then down the bottom it has the name of the provider. And so MediSecure is one of those providers. So I've spoken to a range of healthcare professionals this afternoon. They've obviously expressed extreme concern at this data breach. We don't know exactly what data um, has been accessed yet, um, but we know that the company says that they're concerned that personal data may have been accessed. And doctors and healthcare providers are saying this includes, you know, could include patient names, uh, scripts that you've been provided, uh, script instructions, uh, your Medicare number and other um, personal healthcare information as well. Many people watching this will say, well, I get an e-script when I um, leave my doctor to go to the, the pharmacy, does that mean I've potentially been breached? Possibly. We don't yet know exactly how many customers are affected or the extent of the data breach. Um, but what one thing I did before coming on was looking through my phone for the word MediSecure. You can search through your photos and I did have a script um, that was provided by MediSecure. Um, one thing to note is that they do no longer have that tender from the federal government, so they aren't currently providing scripts and I believe haven't been since late last year. Um, but that doesn't mean they don't have a huge trial of personal data of Australians that could have been accessed. So it, it clearly is with the convening of all of these bodies um, nationwide to look into this breach, what happens next? Well, they're clearly taking this very seriously and you can see why. Like often we hear about data breaches um, with personal health information and financial information, but you can understand why when we've seen what's happened with the Medibank hack um, and you know criminals on the dark net looking to exploit the sort of personal information that they found, like people people who've had abortion procedures um, and revealing other things like mental health conditions. It's obviously very concerning for people that wouldn't want any of their private health information or the kinds of medicines that they've been prescribed becoming public. But at this stage, we don't yet know exactly how widespread this is, um, how many people have been affected. Um, but the company does say that it's working across the federal government um, with all the agencies to provide a response and that they do take privacy uh, very seriously. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of questions still to be answered about how serious this has been.